my own, my own, right, my own, 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 my own,
and new in different ways. As they graduate and go forth and take their places in their respective fire companies, and as those who are promoted to captain take on new responsibilities, we pray, Almighty God, protector of all humankind, that you give them special guidance so that they will be protected from all harm as they respond to all of their calls of service. You pray you instill in them a sense of faithfulness to their training of cooperation with their brothers and sister firefighters, brother officers, of understanding to their leaders. Strengthen them to resist the temptations which might lead them astray from their duty and that which would be harmful to their well-being. Enable them to work in health and safety and grant them and their families your guidance and grace so that they and we may be and do what is for the good of all. And we ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Whenever we gather, it is our tradition in the fire service to remember our Jersey City's honored and revered firefighters who made the ultimate sacrifice. The 49 names are listed alongside our flame of bravery at headquarters in City Hall and in your program. Please join now in a moment of silent prayer in their memory to be followed by Amazing Grace, made by the Jersey City Fire Department, Pipes and Drums.
And so if one other person with them who's not with our recruits, but trained with them throughout, it's firefighter Jonathan Press. He's from Dover Fire Department. He's over there with them also. And now for the opening remarks, Public Safety Director James R. Shea. the emergency services here in Jersey City. No, we couldn't do anything without them and they're always there when we need them, so thank you. Uh, to all the families, I'd like to join the mayor in extending my thank you to you for sharing your family members who work with us in the fire department with us. They couldn't do it without you and we know the sacrifices you make, as the mayor said. So thank you all for allowing the wonderful people that are members of your family to join us and to work with us. Uh, to the promotees, uh, I'll start with them. Uh, 12 people getting promoted. You can see by the crowd here what kind of people they are. Their, their families, their friends here to share the moment with them. And I'll just add that I think everybody knows that if the people they helped during their time in the fire department and the people who slept sounder because of their work in the fire department came, we, I don't think there's a room big enough in the world for what they've done. And so thank you for everything you've accomplished while you were firefighters. And of course, that's not why we're promoting them. We're promoting them because we know what they can do as fire officers, and that they're the best people in the world to lead our firefighters here in Jersey City. So it's more a testament of faith that greater days are still ahead despite how great they've already been. So congratulations, well deserved. Uh, I know how hard you all work to get it, and we're lucky to have all of you. That's for the promotion.
a banking company can group C. That is why Cheryl, 1980, at a birthday party for his mother. They have three children, Jennifer, Christina, and Mark Lee Jr., who's a Jersey City firefighter also, and one grandson, Sebastian. Captain of these hobbies included fishing, golfing, but his favorite. But as his star firefighters say, his favorite hobby was spending time with his grandson. Captain Lee did a lot of volunteer work. Aside from volunteering at, at Ground Zero after 9 11, he was a board member of the Firefighters Distress Club. He played the fishing trip every year and also coached Pop Warner football, the football team in Tom's River. Captain Lee also volunteered for Special Olympics torch run and the, volunteer, and, uh, and the Firefighters annual picnic. However, his greatest volunteer accomplishment was running the, fire, the Jersey City Fire Department's annual toy drive for Christmas to make sure Jersey City's unemployed children had toys every Christmas. In 2011, Captain Lee received the Irish, also received the Irish Firefighter of the Year Award. Captain Lee died of respiratory failure at the age of 53 on Friday, May 9, 2014 at the Community Medical Center in Tom's River, New Jersey. As one of his, as, as one last act of giving, his skin was donated and distributed to over 100 burn victims. His eyes were donated to a young girl. Following his death in May, a memorial run was held at Liddy State Park in Jersey City on July 13, 2014. A re representative from the American, American Cancer Fund had contacted Mrs. Lee knowing that her husband had dedicated his life to children and charity. The proceeds from the loan will start a fund for children affected with pediatric cancer and would be in Captain Lee's name. The fund will finance research, traveling for treatment, medications, and other needs for patients and their families. Mrs. Lee agreed as long as she would be able to check in and confirm that the family is receiving the help that actually needed. This year's race will be held on May 9, 2015, the one year anniversary of Captain Lee's passing. As the family will be continuing his legacy and toy drive, they ask that those attending and participating bring gifts for children to the race. Uh, the 2014 toy drive gave 3,886 children and almost 87 families gifts. They're expecting to surpass that number in 2015. Just like to congratulate the Lee family for keeping that up.
Without the closing remarks, Chief of the Department, Diane Rivers. Mayor Fuller, Council Members, elected officials, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We're here today to witness another special day in the history of the Jersey Fire Department. To our newly promoted captains, with this new position comes a tremendous amount of responsibility. There will come a day where you may have to make a decision that can be the difference between life and death. The most important thing when that time comes is to make a decision. Because the worst decision you can ever make is not to make a decision at all. You are now leaders, and as leaders, your job is to guide and teach your personnel. Remember, you are no better than the people that you lead. You will, you will be judged by the, how your crew performs. Also, listen to your personnel, because you can learn from them as well. In my 27 years as a ranking officer in this department, I have learned that there are three, the, the three most important attributes needed to become a good officer are as follows. One is honesty. If you're not honest with your personnel, they're not going to trust you. Two is fairness. If you're not fair with your personnel, then they will not respect you. Thirdly, consistency. If you're not consistent, they will not follow you. Remember, you are responsible for keeping them safe. The family and friends of the 18 new firefighters, you should be proud, extremely proud of their accomplishments. This is not an easy task for any of them. Excuse me.
back at the casino and park, correct? Uh, after the ceremony, and like I said, uh, to take photos, we're going to line up and go by the statue. Just please be orderly. Uh, Captain Delaney. One stone glass. Land. 